Well, now let's speak to uh, Sania Pavlovich, who's a Serbian-born American journalist. Thank you very, very much. You're a political scientist as well and, and White House correspondent. Woman of many awesome. hats. Fantastic <laughs> stuff. Your, your business card must be massive. But anyway, there you go. You've been speaking with uh, the tennis superstar's father, I understand. So you could fill us in with what's going on there, please. So they are waiting for the final decision. Yesterday, uh, Novak Djokovic was one step from getting arrested by the Australian government, who um, at the last minute decided to wait and, uh, you know, see if they're going to make this uh, contentious, highly contentious political decision right now to uh, expel from the country the best tennis player in the world. And uh, if they do so, in my view, they are going to undermine the integrity and also reputation of the Commonwealth and everything the British Queen stands for and she stood for for the last, you know, decades when it comes to democratic values and upholding democracy in the Western world. Yes, indeed. And, and it is it is a serious, serious issue that, that he's highlighting now, isn't it? I mean, Novak Djokovic, is he going to be in any kind of decent shape to actually play, do you think? I mean... Well, the stress. The know. stress, the stress and being holed up in a... Well, essentially a detention centre for a while, wasn't he? He is mentally extremely strong individual, and I believe that this is going to motivate him even further that if he is allowed to stay, uh, to win the championship and show the whole world who he is as a human being, as a person, you know, remember what's relevant to this country. He won Wimbledon multiple times. He was awarded for his achievement in philanthropy by Prince William. A center point award. So he is someone who not only is the best tennis player in the world and an athlete, but he's also extremely, you know, good human being who is doing a lot for charity, not only in Serbia or UK, but worldwide. Indeed, indeed. Well, you know, it's a very, very tricky situation, uh, of course, and it's, uh, yeah, gosh, it's been a, it's been a, a bit of massive, massive uh, ordeal, hasn't it? What, 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 what's the latest with the the kind of arrest claims that have been taking place over there now? Well, they were true. They were coming to arrest him. Um, the Serbian supporters in Australia surrounded the police. And uh, I believe that the assessment at that time, security assessment, was that this can turn out in a very, you know, contentious political, you know, event. And uh, if they do this, Australian government is going to really show to the whole world that they are the bad guys. And if they do so, it's going to be a politically damaging decision for the, Ameri- for the Australian government, who claims to be democracy. If they do this, um, then they dare fake democracy. And for me, this is the choice between autocracy and uh, democracy. And, you know, listen, his legal rights, his right to, to legal representation. Uh, have been denied at the airport. We could see this, you know, in a factual, uh, you know, uh, lay- layout uh, from the Judge Kelly. So are you claiming that you're democracy while denying the best tennis player in the world or any citizen, uh, for that matter, uh, right to legal representation? He has been advised against legal representation and was told that it is not in his best interest to have the lawyers because the lawyers cannot do anything about it, which was clearly not true. And I think was the crucial point that decided for Judge Kelly, because this is not Guantanamo Bay. This is a ten- tennis world champion uh, tournament, uh, uh, tournament. And, uh, you know, what they're doing is uh, absolutely outrageous and shameful for the Western liberal order, to be quite frank about it.